Hi there, my name is John Slipik and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawk Creek Systems. Today we're going to be looking at the final part 4 in our 4 part video series where we build Sauron's Ring of Power from the Lord of the Rings. In part 3 of our video series we effectively completed the construction of Sauron's Ring by modeling the ring itself and then placing our text onto it with a wrap feature. Today we're going to be revisiting that text construction process but using a greatly simplified process which makes use of Adobe Illustrator. So in a sense, this video is going to be pretty different from what we usually do, and that it's really going to be more of an Illustrator tutorial, where the final result ends up in SolidWorks at the end. So in Adobe Illustrator, if I go to create a new document, I'm going to pay attention to the dimensions of what I'm going to create here. So I'm going to make this 8 millimeters high. It's going to be pretty small for this text we're doing. And everything else looks good. Okay, so let's go over to our Word document where we have our text. And I'm just going to copy half of it, again, just for demonstration purposes. And what I'm going to want to do is use the Type tool in Illustrator. And I'm just going to do a single click. Now, the best way to do the type in Illustrator is doing a single click like that. If you go and you create a big box, it's going to be a little hard to reshape that box later. So this way, the box actually grows on its own. Okay, so I'm going to pull it down a bit. I'm only going to make that 9 point. But then uh, we're going to have to correct our font here as well. So let's go to the font. And we're going to give it Tangware Italic. Let's move this up a bit again. Now, uh, we can actually correct those little artifacts we had before. These actually belong to the slightly different font set. So I'm just going to pick those one at a time and ooh, that is a little funny try that again okay pick those two alt okay perfect so let's make sure these are within the bounds of our canvas okay and I'll get rid of this white space uh, I'm gonna go to document setup edit artboards and I'm just gonna pull that across and we're going to OK that. Okay, so now, we, now that we have our text here, we need to create this uh, create, uh, create a vector format out of this. So let's just pick on our text and then hit the type menu and we're going to say create outlines. And you see it goes and it basically just outlines everything. Now we still get that overlapping against the handwritten font. So we're going to have to clean that up. So the first thing, before we go into that, let's remove our actual coloring of that text. It's going to make it a little easier to work with. And then what we're going to use is a little tool called the Shape Builder. Now this is really neat. Uh, it reminds me a little bit about the, con of the contour select in SolidWorks. And what you do is you just drag lines across. And then it goes and removes uh, that overlap for us. Let's go through all these. Make sure we got all those little portions. And you don't want to make sure not to get these middle portions, or that's going to be not what we want. Okay, just on the final ones here. Okay, so that's exactly what we want now. Now one final step before we do an export of this is we're going to want to, all of these are compound, uh, let's see, what is that, compound curves, sorry, compound paths. And what we're going to want to do is ungroup, right click, ungroup. And then now that it's on, uh, just right under the layer itself and not grouped, we can right click again and release the compound paths. And then now these are just simple paths. If we don't do that, then these aren't going to show up in SolidWorks. It's just a little step you have to take. Okay, so let's go to File. We're going to export this to an AutoCAD DWG. And let's just go over my old one called Text Export. And then what you're going to want to do is make sure that maximum editability is selected and everything else looks okay. 
All right, now let's part where we go to SolidWorks. So I'm basically just going to open this DWG. Look for my text export. And in right, way, uh, sorry, right away, it's going to launch the uh, import from DWG. So let's say import to a new part as a 2D sketch. I'm going to hit next. Hit next again. Now I know that there might be some little gaps in this, so I'm just going to up, up this quite a bit. And I just hit finish. And there we go. Now let's just make sure this is okay. Let's hit repair sketch. Okay, see so it does have two little issues. This might have been from uh, the merge points thing that I did. So let's just trim that. No problems found. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty good. I hope you found this video useful. In summary, for the final part four of our video series today, we saw how to use Adobe Illustrator to create complex text and then import it into SolidWorks. For more great tips and tricks like this, please hit the subscribe button below, and please also check out our website at hotgrigsystems.com. Thanks for watching.